Welcome back everyone, Three Box Media here. As part of my series on helping you get set up with Firebase, this is lesson three. Today we'll be downloading and installing uh, VS Code along with uh, downloading and installing Node.js and NPM, which is Node Package Manager. Then we'll be verifying that we have Node.js set up by doing a version check with the built-in uh, node command line interface or CLI. So why do I use VS Code? Uh, because it's one of the best IDEs I've ever seen. I spent years working with Notepad++ and I found, when I found out that VS Code was available, I started using it and flipped all my projects to VS Code overnight. Uh, I think you'll see it's one of the best IDEs out there. Uh, there are other ones as well, uh, Notepad++, of course, but there's also Atom, which is made by GitHub, uh, Sublime Text, Brackets, and a number of others. I have links in the description to each one of those. First thing we'll need to do is go to Visual Studio's uh, VS Code page, which is located at uh, code.visualstudio.com in your browser window. You'll see a screen that looks like this. There's a few different packages depending on your operating system. I'd recommend going to the uh, stable version for your particular OS. Once you click, then you'll download an executable file. I already have it, so I'm gonna let you go through it and I will see you when you're done. Now we're going to get a hold of Node Package Manager, uh, which is on nodejs.org. This is going to give us access to the CLI or command line interface through VS Code. So for this, we'll need to go to nodejs.org. Um, so jump back onto your browser. You'll see a screen that looks like this. Uh, again, I'd recommend that you get the current uh, and most stable version. Uh, there are two versions available though. Uh, if you are interested in playing around with some of the current or latest features, it may not be stable, it may break, the software may break, but you are welcome to try it. So I, as a Windows user, uh, this is the version here that I would click. Okay, it's going to download an MSI file and then walk yourself through the installation, which is fairly straightforward. There is no need to change anything along the way, so just go with the defaults. And again, I'll see you when you're done. All right, so now we're gonna test to make sure that your NPM is properly installed, uh, that the Node.js installation went through. So I want you to open up um, Visual Studio Code, okay? You'll get a screen like this, or you'll get a screen with uh, like a welcome tab on it. And the best way to get to the command line is uh, you can hit control and back tick. Okay, back tick is the key to the left of the number one, uh, if you're in the, the US on a traditional QWERTY keyboard. Um, so you can hit control and back tick, or you can go to terminal and new terminal. Okay, and it's going to open up something like this. And all I want you to do oops, is type in npm space hyphen v. And it's going to cycle and it's going to spit out a version number. If you do get a version number, then you know that, uh, that Node.js was properly installed and the terminal's working. If you get an error message, then you may have to go back through and reinstall. You can certainly leave comments down below and I will answer those individually. In this video, I showed you how to download and install VS Code. We also walked through getting Node.js set up and verified the current version of NPM through their CLI. In the next lesson, we're going to go through creating your first project in VS Code. We'll talk about some of the extensions that I use to help me code better and faster. Uh, we'll see you then.